Hi, this is Brian with King Grizzly. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this really nifty infinite scrolling ticker using nothing but an Elementor heading widget and some pretty basic code. So we've all seen these expensive looking websites, you know, for agencies, startups, enterprises. Well, now we can wow our clients in Elementor just with the heading widget and some code. So let's take a look at how to do this. All right, so here's my Elementor page. I've got some extra things you won't necessarily need. I've got a container with a background image. I've got a, a heading widget that just has the name of the tutorial. All we really need is a heading widget, which we can get by clicking this icon with the nine boxes. Go to basic and drag the heading onto the page. You need that. And before I forget, because I keep forgetting to say this, click on your heading right away, go to advanced and add this class, ticker hyphen wrapper. Um, put that class on it right away. Okay, then we need some code. The code has two snippets, some CSS, and you'll see I've got that class name in here, ticker wrapper, and then some JavaScript. Now I have this in the HTML widget, which is another widget in Elementor, type HTML, there it is, you can drag it on the page. This is actually not the best practice way to include code. I'll show you where to actually put it here uh, in a little bit, um, but let's just take a look at how this works. It's pretty simple. So we've got our heading, and inside of it, I've got my ticker items. You'll see I've got my text, and then I've put in a little separator, which is just a space, a bullet in a space. And you'll notice I end the ticker with the same separator, space, bullet, space. Now, if you wanted to get fancier with this, wrap some of these in spans, put classes on them, IDs, style them up with CSS, or make your separator images, you can do, you can do that. For this tutorial, we're just gonna keep it simple. We're just animating a heading with some text. This could become more dynamic. Um, I'm sure we can turn more things into tickers, like a dynamic feed of news headlines and so forth. Maybe that's another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're simply just animating some uh, heading text. Now, uh, what you'll notice is I have to put the separator on the end because it's going to infinitely kind of repeat. Um, but we need to break down the JavaScript to understand how this is working because there's a few things you need to know. So for the first thing you need to know was to put that class on the heading. There's two things I want to show you inside the JavaScript. The first is that we can control the speed across desktop, tablet, and mobile. So if we look at this and I resize my browser, here's my desktop, there's tablet, there's mobile. Those are all good speeds, I think, for what I was interested in. Now, if I go back here and I change one of these, let's say I change mobile to a one. Update it. Come over here, refresh. Then we'll go back down to mobile. Wow, that's too fast for what I needed, right? Um, so three was actually a good number for me. Uh, let's see, but let's just do something else like 25. Let's see what happens if I do 25. Update, refresh, we'll go back to mobile. Quite slow. Uh, so, <laughs> It, so you, you can choose what speeds you need for your project. I happen to like 12, 7, and 3. Um, these are the normal Elementor out of the box, desktop, tablet, mobile breakpoints. If you need to add more, you can kind of, you'll have to study this code or ask ChatGPT how, how to update this snippet, um, but you can add in more breakpoints um, for different sizes if you need to. Okay, so that's the first thing is you can adjust the speed. The other thing is you need to know that your, your text needs to repeat enough times to cover your screen. So if I click on this heading and I remove a few of these, we'll just leave two. And I hit update. Come back over here, refresh. Oh, wow, we're not covering the screen anymore. Look at that. We've actually got four items um, instead of two. Why is that? So yeah, I've got one, two, but, but I got <clears throat> over here four. Why? Well, if we look at the JavaScript, this ticker inner HTML is what grabs the heading, the contents of the heading. And you can see we've repeated it once using this sort of like plus equals thing. So if you need to keep repeating it more times, just put a space in after the last inner HTML plus equals space ticker period inner HTML. So that should give us, if I update it, one more duplication. So let me refresh. And uh, there we go. So now they repeat uh, a total of 
three times, uh, so, or we've got three instances of what's in my, my heading here, right? Now, when you have more items, like I did, I was getting, I seem to be getting pretty good coverage of the screen with just the, the one duplication. So I, I didn't necessarily feel like I needed this extra one right here, okay? Now, if you if you needed even more, you could keep doing that plus equals ticker period inner HTML. It kind of depends on how big of a screen you want to cover, right? So, but with me, I had enough items here in in this that when I duplicated it once, refresh here, it seemed to cover my screen. Um, so, that's pretty much all you need to know. You got your heading, you put the class on it. And then you have the JavaScript with those speed controls and also knowing how many you may need to duplicate this multiple times to get full coverage of your screen. Now, where should we maybe put this code <clears throat> instead of here? So we've got the CSS and we've got the JavaScript. I'll show you where to put it in Elementor. Now, I recommend this plugin, uh, WP Code, the Code Snippets plugin. It's fantastic. You can put your snippets in there. We put a ton of snippets in, in that. And actually, we do that instead of a child theme these days. But Elementor has a nice custom code snippet feature for um, HTML, CSS, JavaScript. So I'm going to add a new one. Oops, I already actually I started to add it. But anyway, I, I type in usually what it is, CSS, and then we'll do like infinite, infinite text ticker or whatever. Um, then I'm going to paste in the code. There it is. And I can choose where I want it to run. I could say, look, I want it to run on the whole site. Or if it's just on one page, I could in instead just singular go find that page. Like I'm just doing it on a particular page. And then you could type in the name. You start searching for the name of your page. Like for me, I could say, I just want to do it on this, this page, save and close, right? So then that I would be set with my CSS. Now, similarly, I could put JavaScript like this, JavaScript, like I would make a new one, right? But I'm just being lazy here. So with JavaScript, I'd come here, I'd copy this out, copy, come on over here and paste in my JavaScript. And in the case of JavaScript, I usually load it body end um, like that. And then same thing, I could set an instance and then publish it. So then we wouldn't need this HTML um, container here, this widget. You wouldn't need to put this on the page. You could throw this out um, because you'd have two code snippets, the JavaScript one and you'd have the CSS one. You just would remember need to remember to come back on over to Elementor custom code. I'm not going to save this, um, but well, <laughs> it, it auto saved it for me. You need to come back over here to edit it. I'm going to trash these because I don't need them. Um, so that's it. I think uh, this should be a fun effect. Could just be decorative, um, but I think for brands, this gives a nice option with, with a pretty lightweight solution for creating a nice and pretty smooth ticker. This looks pretty smooth to me. So you're welcome to play off, obviously, with the JavaScript controls, um, but hopefully uh, this helps take your projects up a notch. Uh, thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing. If you're interested in content like this, we got a lot more coming in the future. All right. Have a great day.